Thank you for tuning in to CW Hip Hop's live podcast. I'm your host, DJ BVNC, a.k.a. Bank. Co-host here, I got across from me, Garky. Yo, yo. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at CW Hip Hop. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at BVNC95, Twitter, I am BVNC. Garky, where can the listener find you at? You can find me on Instagram at Garky Gaines, G-A-R-K-E-G-A-I-N-Z, and pretty much any other platform, which is Garky. And we have a special guest here in the building. For the interview, as he lay, all the way from job. Madison. Madison, for real. How you How you doing today, man? For real. Doing yeah. really good. Excited. I have uh, been waiting for this interview. It's been a, for real, one dude. I've been looking forward to. It's pretty much been the only thing on my schedule lately. Like it's, yeah. I really haven't had much going on but work, so it's like. We understand you got to pay the bills. Yeah, for real. It's understandable. Bro. Yeah, we all got solid nine fives, man. Like life is crazy, bro. <laughs> That's facts. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're able to make it. Mm-hmm. Um, how long of a drive was it? Uh, like two hours. Two hours? Like, maybe okay. a little longer. Like, <laughs> I think I left at 6.30. Well, first of all, you know, welcome to CW Hip Hop Headquarters. Welcome to the studio. What do you think of the place? Oh, it's, bro, this shit's crazy. Like, how? I have a question. What do y'all plan to do with everything? Like, so right now we just have hey, this room. He, he, he asked questions after yeah. the interview, right? Right. Was that? No, never mind. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean, like, am I allowed to do that? Yeah, like, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just joking around. It's what he's at. Um, we're just, you know, we want to do recording here. We want to yeah. just make a platform for Wisconsin artists, mm-hmm. be a station for them, and, I don't know, just help oh, that's everybody in the process. That's, that's awesome, bro, for real. Because like, helping everybody else is going to help us and at the same time. Exactly, so. and there's no one doing this around anywhere. Exactly. Like, it's exactly. crazy. We're right <laughs> smack dab in the middle of the yeah. state. We're central yeah. hub. Yeah, it's literally like a hundred miles to any border, so we're pretty much it's perfect. dead center. It's perfect. It, it's good in some aspects. I, I'd like to leave the state sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Play right. a whole three hours. Yeah, trip. I definitely feel that. I don't like being here all the time. Like, it's just, I feel like it's really consuming in Wisconsin. Like, <laughs> It's, I agree. I love this place, but it's hard to break out. It is. It's, it is. Uh, it yeah. is. Have you always you've always lived in Wisconsin? Have you always lived in Madison? Uh, yeah. I I had a brief moment in 2020 where I was living in California because I plan to restart my whole life over there. You but, a little louder, by the way. Oh, it's okay. Oh Sorry. Um, I had planned to restart everything, you know, after high school, but then COVID had hit down so hard. As soon as I landed, I had a job set up and everything, and then. I the COVID restrictions. I don't know what had happened, but I, something misaligned, and I ended up just living over there for a little while. So it was a cool experience. Like, only time I've ever been like out of Madison, kind of. I got you. For okay. real. Yeah, I'm supposed to go to fucking Puerto Rico this year. Though. Puerto Rico? Mm-hmm. Just for like a trip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are you gonna do in Puerto Rico? Um, Is there anything special going on there? My my grandfather lives there. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That should be good. That should be nice. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I heard it's like a hit or miss. I don't, um, I've never, I've never even been out of the country. Because it's gonna be like Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Like I, we'll probably go to some of the nice parts, but otherwise, it's like I'll see pretty slums. I pretty yeah, I've seen pretty much a good, good range of what there is. Gotcha. Like, gotcha. I don't know. I just heard it's a pretty bad place. So how you feeling coming into this interview? Um, a little high. Like I said, I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, <laughs> Shit happens. No, I Shit just, happens, I, I yo. just, I just, my <laughs> work is stressful as fuck. I don't. Yeah, shit know. happens. Don't worry about it's it. It's weird, but like, I'm cool in that. I'm really, I'm here. That's good to hear. I'm present. Yeah. It was a good day at work though, right? Yeah. yeah. What yeah, do you do for work? I mean, like, oh my god, I work at Ragstock downtown, like State Street, the uh, big old benches place. Like, I just, it's crazy, man. I, I can't stand it. <laughs> but like, I don't know yeah. if you should say that. It's no, okay. No. I love you guys, but like, I can't stand it. Like, I need, I need something new. Like, it's really hard to just keep my burning mind without falling into some sort of like fucking like machine line. You know, it's so mm-hmm. hard. Like, everyone's, everyone's so focused on what they're doing right, but like, I want to be focused on myself. And lately, I feel like I've been adrift in that because like. I've been focusing so much more on clothes and fashion and like, like, just more appearance wise stuff like presentation and like, like the nature of, you know, clothing and design like it's just so, it's so beautiful like it's so nice it's like, there are little subtleties about everything, you know, I could get into it but like, yeah, so I guess. like, 
it's a part of my music, I feel like, because it's really like how I present myself through my art, you know, like the fashion. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah. somebody who hasn't maybe dove deep into your music yet, yeah. um, how would you kind of describe yourself as a brand or like who is Azzy Lay? Azzy Lay is I I feel like I'm kind of that fun loving yet angsty punky like just that just that dude on the block, bro. The dude on the block. Bro, you know, that can I mean a like, lot of things. Man. I feel like everybody knows that guy. That can mean a lot of things. Like, no, not, not, not in a bad way. I feel like everybody knows <laughs> that one guy who's just like, yeah, it's that guy, bro. Like, you know? That's facts. Yeah, That's facts. and I really feel my, like myself personally, like, I just am in a really good vibration. Like, I try my best to, like, uplift and, and, and give out as much as I can, you know? Especially what, lately, because yeah. life has been getting tough for everybody. Like this pandemic, yeah. it's been stressful. What right? you put in is what you get out. Exactly, bro. Like no matter what, no matter what you're doing, like as much like it's the cup overflow, you know. Yeah. Like yeah, even on those days when I feel drained, it's like, bro, I know I got something left. You know, I I got I got more of me. Little yeah. things make big things. Exactly. Like like writing music agree. has been so. How many songs do you have written right now? You have like I have so bank. many. I have so many in the vault, bro. Like it's and that's what scares me because I'm just like. Do you have a number though? Do you know how many? No, no, I have no have. number. But I, it's probably. I mean, that's a good thing. Right now, right that's now, good. it's probably under forty. Um, I have I have a lot of songs in the bank. For me, that's a lot because I've been making music consistently for like about a year and a half. Oh yeah, we're gonna get into that. Don't worry. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. Yeah, we got that on here. So, uh, how did you come up with the name Azilay? For real, okay, so my full name is Azrael Leon. Okay, um, okay. And like, Azzy was just, you know, I, I shortened, hyphenated, whatever. Azrael, no one wants to say that every time. Like, mm-hmm. I, I feel like it's a very commanding, like a super, it's just like a Azrael. Where do you hear that shit? You know, like, yeah. I'm just like. Okay, what's good, bro? You know, so Azzy, like that sounds kind of nice. Everyone's like Azzy, I'm like no, it's Azzy. Like, it's you know, it's still the rock star. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Real quick here, do you two want to switch chairs? Yeah, it's kind of. You're sitting really still, and he's no, th- that's oh, just yeah. an older one. So it's just an older oh, chair. Yeah. yeah, I, I literally it's just yeah, kind of no switched. Like, no, I'm you're all good. Good. It's just gonna be better for the audio. Okay, guys. Yeah. It's all good. No, 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 no. Yep, you, you can just, leave it you here. You can stay there, but you, he'll just switch chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all good, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. I won't break the chair. <laughs> Off to your great start here. This is kind of great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so how old? How old are you? I think it Bro, says I'm, 19, yeah, on, 19 on your Instagram. I'm right? 19 yeah, years yeah. old. Like, um, and how long have you been making music? Uh, I've been making music since. Late 2016, I would have to say, because I started writing music right around X's peak, like right when like Rolling Loud, like all, when all that shit, like I was just introduced to all that fucking like it was nonsense to me back then because I was like a metal, like a strictly like metalhead like rock rock, I got you. rock fucking kid, bro. Like it was so different because. I didn't care about none of that hip shit, right? You know, what was in the time. I just wanted to do it. And as soon as that shit came around, I was like, bro, that's like kind of what I'm into. But like, it's it's so like, everyone loves that shit. Mm -hmm. And it's so raw, you know? So And you seem to mix that that rock and that hip hop together. Yeah, like I really tried. Like from the beginning, I was screaming a lot. And like, I, I tried to evolve into more of a pop star, rock star energy, you know, with as he lay, like it was, it was kind of an upstart restart. Like I was making music for two years prior under a different name, and I would never disclose that ever. But like, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, right. I, well, we we'll won't say a name, but what, what kind of genre? Yeah. Um, definitely more underground, like grunge, like interesting trap, like trap hop music, like like just screaming and like like okay. hella drums and like yeah. bro, like. It would, but it would also depend. I would, I would be like sad boy sometimes, and I would make like these really bro. There are some songs in the category. There are some songs in the catalog right now that are older, like Halos and Heartbreaks. Some shades. Halos and Heartbreaks. That one is just. 
it's it's one of those songs, you know. Yeah. I think I, I there's another one, but like I don't know. So what or who inspired you to start making music? Damn, bro. I think it was Juice who inspired me to pick up a microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a, I think that's a good answer. That's 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 cause, bro. I swear, bro. That, there was no reason that his music hit it that hard. For anybody, <laughs> yeah. for anybody, there was, was no excuse for that. I was like, "What? What's going on, bro?" And I still look at it like sometimes I still watch old videos. And I'm just like, like even those ones where right. just live stream or whatever. Like, so I'm like, "Bro, he don't even know what he's doing. Right now. He's just doing it." Like, like he's doing he's doing just like, coming from the heart. <laughs> it's, it was that's the most, it was the most beautiful thing to watch, you know, because like being I know it's like being in that moment, you know, like even though life is starting to hit me harder, like I. I still have lit moments where everything fades away and it's just me and the microphone. So yeah. do you make your own beats no, or do you cover I cover? I do a lot of sourcing. Like I do YouTube stuff sometimes. But I always, 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 always get in connection with the producers and I make sure I'm okay to use their song. Yeah. Yeah. Do you make your own cover arts at all? Um no, me and my <laughs> actually yeah, I I guess we It says do. designer on your Instagram. Huh? It says designer on your Instagram, what doesn't it? Yeah, no, not and like I guess for clothes, oh, but okay, like okay. yeah, I, um, I I do make all the cover arts. Like we we not me specifically. I always have help for the sauce, bro. Like the sauce is always added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Like he's he's literally homie. He's uh, Nick. You know, PRP Nick. Okay, you can yeah. shout you can shout him out if you want. Yeah, to. bro, that's my look. Just at on Instagram at PRP Nick. Go follow this man. Is literally a god. The beats are crazy, bro. He's really good at engineering too. Like a lot of the songs that have been coming out before. Whoa, whoa. I'll get into that later. But like a lot of the songs, he's been helping produce. So is he from Wisconsin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, actually, definitely got, get in contact with me. Yeah, he's he actually got me into like a real nice studio for the first time the other day it was really great it was really awesome was like, whatever because we recorded a whole song just by acapella and he was he was he's he's been bugging me all the time you know like to to make a song simply just this the words no beat you know so we just took one sample and i did everything over there i've been bugging him for an acapella for really? for so long because yeah, i want to make a beat around the acapella. it's so funny yeah, it's, it's, an, it's about acapella. to be okay like that's what i want to do and it's gonna be no, fucking no cap, fire no cap, it's not the band, but like I know, trap? Okay. okay it's like it's gonna be really nice like just some soothe shit i'm not gonna say nothing more but like it's, As he keeps talking. <laughs> we, got, we got good stuff coming. We got good stuff I coming, think, bro. And yeah. there's like so much else that I've recorded that I'm saving for like a little cute project bundle um, right around November. Okay. Because That's pretty dope. I got to say what's coming up until then. You know? So you kind of verse in uh, quite a few genres and sounds. What would you say is yeah. your main genre or sound? Dude, I love pop music. I love pop music. And I don't know why. Like I used to shit on it so hard, bro. Pop music is so fun. There's so many, there's so many, um, there's so many variables to it, you know, because you can have, you can have really like, um, like, I wouldn't, I don't know how to put it other than emo, like really emo -y, like emotional, you're just like gross almost like, well, like if you were to listen to it around somebody, you know, who you're not comfortable <laughs> with, you know, like you can have that kind of pop music, bro. Yeah. And you can have like, you, you can have stuff like fucking, like no. I feel like it's the the everyday lo lover vibe, you know. It's like I want to feel good, but so this is what it puts me in, bro. You know, and I listen to songs that are often like really invigorating on either like the performance end, you know, like it takes a lot to to make these happen. Yep. Okay. Or like we need a soundboard, and when this happens, you do crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, my mind just. It takes a lot, you know, you were saying I, you I it takes a, a lot for the performance. I took a breath. Yes, oh my god. Yeah. It's how <laughs> it music I listen to. But what was the question you asked me? Because that's why I stopped. Yeah, what's, what's your main genre of sound? Yeah, genre what's sound. What's my main genre of sound? Like, literally, okay. It's like pop, bro. It's like pop. It's okay. like, it's probably like pop punk type pop shit. Punk. Pop punk. Like, yeah, like, I think that's, a, that's so that's fucking blunt, sure bro. Does. Pop punk hey, type like music, blunt, bro. bro. <laughs> like, I really like, it's like an angsty sound. But like a really, really hard, like not harsh, but like, you know, like a power, 
how my house delivered. You know, it's not yeah. like, it's not like no bitch shit. You know, I'm not like, I don't know. I got so much music that is not like the shit that I've been dropping, bro. I've just been fucking around. Like, I've really just been playing around, seeing what people like, bro. Seeing what people can vibe with, if they can vibe with it. Like, yeah. what was literally... I don't even want to. I love woe, and I don't know why I love woe because it's just so fun. Whoa! Every, I know she it's, got that little bitch. it's so fun. It's like I would never ever perform that song, but like it's so why not? Fucking, because why not? I don't. because oh, I on. don't ever want to just sit there for three minutes and and, and say I don't. Just know. say that, yeah. Like, I don't want to. <laughs> I ever want to sit there bitch, like, and waste well. people's time like that. But like, I just wanted to throw something out there that other people like. Maybe like is hyper pop fuck shit, cause nothing that I have coming you now is like anything like that. That was like a one off. Like oh my god, this was cool. Yeah. I tried this out. Like you know, but so what oh kind god. of music did you listen to growing up, dude? Like mostly the radio until like middle school, and then I got into fucking Disturbed. Disturbed, which Ooh, is a really I haven't good heard that name fucking in a while. band, bro. <laughs> Just uh, that got me started with everything. Their cover of the Sound of Silence. I was literally like, mm-hmm. a kid, dude. Then I started That's playing. Nice. Then I started playing guitar, and then I started singing, and then I started brushing up on my piano skills, and then everything started rolling. Man. It was literally like if it wasn't music, my my eyes weren't you know open. You mm-hmm. know? It's like I, I didn't care about anything but creating. <laughs> my bad. And I'm slowly, which I'm slowly bouncing back into that. I pick up the piano just about every single morning after I walk outside. There's no consistency at all, or what? No, no. No? no. Damn. Yeah, that, ha- that happens. It's now. like I get so we caught up in life, that. and then all of a sudden I've it's... cleaned my rabbit's cage three weeks in a row, and I haven't hit the... I love how that's like, yeah, like time bro, stamp. Because literally, yes, <laughs> literally, I'm just like, shit, you smell, bro. Like, wait, it's been that long? Like, fuck. Oh, man, that's funny. But I've only it's been back funny, home for man. a month. I've that's literally only funny. been back home for a month. But I've recorded, like, four tracks, so, so I, I don't think that's bad. What's your favorite genre of music to make? I guess other than pop punk, I should say. Bro, like, I love, I love like the soft shit, the lo-fi, the the like where you're just, bro, like where you're really just spitting how it is over a beat, bro. It's just like some boom bappy shit. That's like my favorite type, bro, because you can just sit and drive to that fucking music. It's just like you can (laughs) literally just catch the wave and ride, man. It's so awesome. Like, yo, boy, daddy. So you, uh, you said kind of two years prior to your yeah. current run of a year and a half. Is that when you started to take your music kind of serious? Or yeah, so what that was gave like, you that initial push? Like the run up, like I was literally, shout out to Super Friends, bro. Like, fucking Super Friends hip hop, bro. Like, well, Super Friends, like, I've yeah, messaged them on CW Hip Hop. They never got their music in. But yeah, they're from Madison yeah, too, right? Yeah, yeah. They're, they were, they were, group. they were, they were hosting a lot of shit. Big. They were definitely hosting a lot of shit, bro. It gave me an opportunity. That's like awesome. Chance to grow, you know. When was that? Platform. Like, I was like freshman, bro. Like, I was a sophomore when it started, and then I kept doing it up until I graduated. Okay. Yeah, up until COVID hit or whatever, you know, like. This is when shit hit the fan. Yeah, yeah when, when shit hit the fucking fan, bro. <laughs> when the simulation. Everything replayed. stops. <laughs> Everything, bro. I I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I see li- hip hop merch. I li- <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's gonna tell you. Buy CW hip hop merch. You guys got seven days. It'll never be back after. You, you, gotta buy you can this never get merch. it again. Gotta get the merch. As he lay himself is endorsing it. You gotta buy this merch. Boom! Look at that. You gotta buy this merch. Boom! Seven days before the year changes. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days before the year changes. Twenty twenty. Something in my stomach went. And I swear to you, as soon as the fucking clock struck on New Year's, everything shifted. I was wearing the mask like months before everything happened. And it was so wild to me because I didn't think about it until after I went back home one day, you know, and see all these fucking black laced, you know, trying to mm-hmm. scarlord look and fucking, you know, I literally had this phase that went for, I don't even know. Bro, I was so wild. I was like, Jesus Christ, was I like 
precursor in every day that already is my life because I didn't get to graduate. You know, I didn't get to. I mean, I, I graduated. I have a diploma, but like I didn't get to fucking walk on the stage. Yeah, yeah no one, no officiating. Like fucking pass or fail. Like it was so weird, bro. Like I just didn't feel like that really I felt, sucked, bro. I felt like yeah. it was robbed. Like just they they took everything from me. Like with that last little year because it's like they changed the entire system of how my school life and routine was. And then I didn't even get to complete, you know, like a real degree. So it just feels like all these people that I'm around constantly, you know, in college and shit, who I have to talk to, and it's like, oh, I do this, I do this, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm still like figuring shit out. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah, I'm just like, like fuck, bro. still figuring shit out. Bro, bro I'm, I'm going like, back in the fucking spring, but like, I'm just like, Fuck that shit, man. I'm like literally turtle shell. Like I couldn't everything. go into that turtle <laughs> shit so again. so hard. I get so nervous around people. I'm like, what are y'all doing, bro? Like, why are y'all so excited to be around each other? I'm like, it's so fucking crazy to me. Cause it's like, sus. I know it's not. I love people, bro. But I don't know how to like find comfort in just random folks. Sometimes it's hard. Like, you know, I, I feel like I've had my trust broken a lot of times along the way. So it's just like, Facts. it's just like weird. I look at people with this like, Fight or flight mentality. Sometimes it's it's not good. It's not good. It's something I'm trying to change, but like I don't know. Even around my family is weird because they treat it like you know, like they and you're so, you're listening to CW Hip Hop podcast. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say. Um, do you think anything from your past has kind of uh, affected your music? You did it to like yes. <laughs> was kind of just getting into that. There's a lot of shit that goes out of my life, bro, and I feel like everything. That happened in, in from September twentieth of twenty twenty all the way until like November twenty fifth, twenty twenty. It was such a fucking dramatically affecting point in my life. Because that was right before I made an Angel May Fly. And that's when everything was happening, bro. Like there wasn't a day where somebody didn't hit me up on like, let's do something. Or like, you know, I was literally being more I was on more drugs than I've ever been on in my life. And I was also... Allegedly. Allegedly. Like, and I was literally... No, I... <laughs> pretty sure. Pretty sure. Allegedly. Bro, pretty sure, bro. Like, well, it's, I'm, it, allegedly. It's, 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 it wasn't good. Like, I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm going to say that it was not good, but, like... I was also having more shit go down in my life. You know, that alignment shit where things are just clicking together. Things are just happening for some reason, you know? Yep. Like, and it was that. so wild. And, like... All of it is such a blur, but there are so many things that have affected my life after those decisions. What has affected? Has it affected your music? Yes, like it's in what certain ways? Well, my presence as a musician in Madison has kind of been diminished over the years, over the years. Why do you say that? I, I, I feel like there's a lot of people who don't like me. You know, and I just I don't know why. Fuck them. Like it's 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 it, that's exactly what I say, but I send them love regardless. I literally, Hate costs money, but exactly, love exactly. Like so I send blessings to all the people who who really look down on me, bro. And I literally try my best to show as much patience and like, right. uh, because whatever I did, you know, to piss to to put myself in that position with them, you know, because me personally, I have no memory of last fucking. Fucking okay. okay, from from the summer to the fall, there are no other than the huge stamps that are in my Snapchats, you know, saved in my phone. Oh yeah. I have no memory of what the fuck happened oh, last year. Like it's just hard. It's really hard. And I'm trying to, you know, be an honest working human now. Yes, and like it's really so different because it's like I have nothing to build off of. Because everyone does that when they yeah. leave high school. They fucking rip the they rip the cord free, you know. And they run back to everything, you know, the roots. It's so fun. That's great. We're actually going to be going and talking about your past yes, uh, in this next segment here. So what did your first setup look like? Like, what kind of DAW did you use? What microphone? What kind of equipment did you have? Like, the computer, all that. Where was it? It's literally the same spot that it is now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, say that again. Say that like, again. What what it's it's in the same spot that it is now. I literally okay. have not changed. Did you upgrade? Perfect. So, yeah, what I, are you using currently as your first I up? I literally... I, so I bought this in fucking, Jesus Christ, oh my god, sophomore year, I bought this one sophomore year, it's an AT2020 microphone, and it's a Scarlett, like is it, one I won, like the, the smallest Scarlett that there is, literally. Okay. 
and it's like not even the digital one it's not the new one like it's 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 all like <laughs> but it's the same microphone like a piece of it actually broke off so it's just like literally it only stands vertically um and then i just have my phone pads so that's that's kind that's kind of what i'm using currently but i i've had no financial intent lately and that's like been my utter downfall that's what happens yeah buy the cw hip-hop merch yeah <laughs> you have to invest do yourself you, do you kind of remember what the first song uh or artist that really uh resonated with like what maybe inspired or who inspired from like a main you said you listened to the radio quite a bit yeah <laughs> you ruined that question my bad <laughs> <laughs> um so, no, Bruno Mars, bro. Oh, Bruno that's Mars. a good answer. I respect that. That is yes. such a good answer. Okay. I've said that is such a good answer. Bruno, I, I love that answer. So Hell yes. Like, he's Fuck so yes. underrated even now. Big facts. Like, I agree. Like, like, just pure soul. Oh. Like, it's hard. Have it's... you heard the Silk Sonic with him and I, I, I have. I have yeah, you seen the YouTube video of him showing a, showing a song off in, like, in the studio with the audio engineer? And he's, like, all happy talking about it. And he's like, yeah, we just did this. And the audio engineer is sitting there with, like, a really straight face. And is like, yeah, you just did that. You know what I mean? Because, like, no, your audio engineer did way more than he did. He, he just did some shit on the piano. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it's a pretty funny video if you ever want to look That's it up. That's for it's real. Funny. No, like, it's cool because I, I have that kind of relationship with my producer. It's funny. Because uh, it's like, dude, look at all the shit that I've done. He's like, nah, bro, I got you. It's like all oh, this and this and this and this and this. And it makes me feel like I don't do shit, bro. <laughs> I feel you on that. So on SoundCloud, you have 42 tracks. Oh and on God. Spotify, you have 15 singles and two projects. Do you prefer SoundCloud or Spotify? I actually have tried to stop using SoundCloud. Oh, I have okay. archive music that does exist there, but like, that's what I want to leave it at. It's like I really don't want to touch it's it understandable. anymore. Like it's, I just want stuff that I can professionally release. You know, like it, I just like if I could, you know, they wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to send them SoundCloud link to perform my shit. You know, like. That's, I mean, it's not a terrible thing. I know, but, but it's, it's like Spotify is definitely, in my opinion, more solidified nowadays. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like Apple Music is catching up to like the loss list has been so nice. Like I don't know what it is. Yeah, I feel you. So, in my in my knowledge, in twenty eighteen, it was that your first track that you posted was "Good Night" on SoundCloud. Was that your first ever track? Yeah. Yeah. The first track I okay. Fucking posted. Uh, no. What were your expectations and thoughts when you were posting? Absolutely none. I was literally, I, I recorded that track off of my fucking Apple headphone. Like, <laughs> you recorded with my gaming headset. And with his first track. That's just my hilarious. Apple headphone microphones. And like, I don't, I don't know if it was from. those, but like, maybe it was the, bl- the, 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 the cord bows ones that were blue. My brother used to use them for a little bit. And it was so funny because like, I was terrible at singing. Like, I was not a good singer. Like, Practice but the song, perfect. the song is good, but I was just not a good singer. You know, like, what is oh, I want to take my hat off, but y'all, I don't have hair anymore. <laughs> like, oh. that's, that's the one thing I don't want people to, to take any other way. Because like a lot of my cover arts I've posted recently have had hair, but yeah, all yeah. of those literally, I, I and the I, picture that we used for the promo, you had exactly. hair. Exactly, <laughs> that's why everyone's gonna be like, "Who the fuck is this brown <laughs> ass kid?" Who, who's this? Who's this brown motherfucker sitting in the chair, bro? Why is he got the puff on his? <laughs> head? He's like the next Denzel Curry. Like, bro, like I, it's funny because flames on my body like I'm charming. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What is that? Then you went hard and released four banger tracks in 2019 on SoundCloud, going going from one in a year to four. What gave you that drive? One track, in one a track year. in a year to oh, four tracks. Oh well, it was kind of like I had just started and I posted Good Night. Like, is there a date on it specifically that you do? You I have? didn't have okay, no. That's it just, okay. It just gave me it's a okay. year. Pretty sure it's okay. Um, because I remember like. It was more of an October. Like, I was, it was late fall. Okay. Know? And I wasn't really doing much. And then I went to uh, Florida that year. And then I came home and I was like, bro, the whole trip there, I literally was on my fucking Mac. And I'm just like learning how to make beats and shit, bro. And then I started recording over my own beats yes. while we were there. And it was just like heaven, bro. It was like I found 
my monkey wrench, you know, I'm just like, and it was just, everything was, it was just, because there was a lot of shit going on in my head, bro. Like, there was a Yo, lot Lush, of what's good, man? didn't start posting on Spotify until like 2020. Yeah. They were SoundCloud songs already there. So what yeah. kind of potential did you see on Spotify versus staying on the SoundCloud? Um, kind of touched on that. Yeah, I feel like moving over to Spotify specifically was a lot better because uh, I turned 18 and I was like, you know what? I don't want to just keep telling people I'm a SoundCloud artist because like, I feel like they're just going to think I'm some kid sitting on the couch who picks up a microphone and so on. You know, I'm just like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <Right. laughs> I've been fucking, I, I think I've been doing music for over eight years now. And like, eight years, you said? Yeah. That's and crazy. it's like I've invested so much time yeah. into the guitar and my voice, and it's so crazy to see how like such little work gets so famous. You know? So, what inspired your first project, uh, the EP called Stitched? Yes. What inspired that? What got that going? This was one of the most fucking chaotic periods of my entire life. Oh boy. Okay. Like, thus far, like I've never felt so much chaos i would i just come back from um i just come back from cali and everybody around me had just graduated from COVID, right? like, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was it was like we had just been released from the monkey cages and sent yeah. off into the jungle, bro. And it was <laughs> the craziest fucking moment because everyone went ham jungle everywhere. From SoundCloud too, there yeah. was so much like so many drugs, so much like <sighs> flip cell, flip cell. All my friends were hustlers, bro, and it made no fucking sense because none of them like looked like they were gonna sell weed for longer than two months, you know. So it's like it was so weird, and I was just trying to find my calling and being around so many misguided youths i was just like your environment, as somebody, your environment does a lot right to you. right as someone who came from like good intensive like loving parents you know because like i was raised like on love but that in my life showed me what survival looked like you know and then the, the year leading up thus far but like it was just like me being pulled apart from two halves of my life because high school had kind of instilled this wilderness in me, you know, and my family was just this, you know, safe house. So I was just like leaving them because I spent so much time on my own and they hated that. So like it was just like stitched, like bring okay. me back. Oh, that's you know? okay. I was, I got you. Like I feel like um, the song Stitch literally so is explain, kind of, people might not know what you mean by that you're talking about the cover art of the yeah the heart yeah literally the, the, the like heart is, 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 to cover is but yeah it's literally being held together i don't think there's like it's coming back i'm just making sure like, the listeners understand what you're talking about exactly yeah, yeah. um yeah most definitely that's pretty yeah. much like it's it's it was, there was a lot of emotions it was, it was a lot of just like me personal issues like just like family and and me and then like blessed was fun you know and like i was just trying to that was right after i literally recorded that was the last song i recorded before i dropped that out the, that ep because i just moved into my own little apartment and you and you were blessed for that mm -hmm. hell yeah so, so kind of yeah, yeah so kind of moving into the present now with uh 2021 uh you released eight singles uh angel project and angel they fly on all platforms uh out of the music that you've created this year what was your your favorite or most fun um, Heal Me Demon was really fucking fun, bro. Like, that was one of the most fun songs I've ever made in my life, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Summer Love was cool, too. Um, that was really fun. Um, it's a shame what happened with that, though. Like, it was, there was a whole other, whole other, like, there was so much else happening with that track. And I just, like, some people just cross certain lines. So, I had to... so like, features that were gonna be on it, or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, had, I, I had people. You ain't gotta talk about it too much. That's fine. That's fine. But what fun inspired stuff. the project in Angel May Fly? What inspired oh that? Oh my god! Uh, definitely my experiences with people, with some people. Um, it was like, it was like, dude, all this shit's happening to me. All of a sudden, you know, I'm a face and a name. You know, like, and people love me, and it's so weird because no one had ever showed me. Everyone was so unconditional. Like, they literally. If it, it felt like I, 
I was being reinforced so much and it was awesome. And then all of a sudden, like everyone started to drop off like out of nowhere and it scared the shit out of me. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know, like, what am I doing? You know, and, yeah. and I thought it was me. And I feel like a lot of these songs were results of like points where I was really dipping hard or like points where I felt that I needed to prove myself in a certain way. Cause like an Angel May Fly definitely has a lot of songs that I would very much kick off of my fingers. Like, okay, all like right. When that, like I would rather them not exist anymore. Okay. But like that's just me as a personal, like growing artist, you know, I still listen to them and I still fucking love them. But, yeah, like, it's so sad. It's just like, man, I was a little fucking punk bro. You know, like. Now we don't like to compare people around here. Uh... But if you had to compare yourself to another artist, who would that be? You can't do that. Why not? I can't do. I mean, my 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 brother will literally stand on this on top of an entire group of his friends. He's like, literally, you sound like Juice World, bro. And I'm just like, you sh- <laughs> why would you say that? Yeah, right. you can't. You can't compare people like that. <laughs> but like, at one point in my life, I'm telling you, every single song wave is coming off the top. So. I, I. So, do you have a top five artists? Uh, Juice World. You, I assume you, Juice World definitely like, like yeah. up there at the like. I'd say top three right now. Kanye's number two, bro. That's interesting. Okay. Kanye is like doing so much for both like fashion and. Oh, that's true. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> I, there's so many. Oh my god, I I couldn't put these on top, but there are so many underground artists, bro, that I listen to. You know, they're just five. Five of them right now off the top of your head. Go. Mm, I mean, like, no, I couldn't. Like, five <laughs> artists. Five artists right now. No, you right can. Now. You can. <laughs> can't is in your okay. vocabulary. D- five d- artists right now off the top of your head. Destroy, doesn't have to be mainstream. Doesn't destroy be mainstream. Lonely. Destroy Lonely is really good. Okay. Um, destroy Lonely. Bro. You got this. <laughs> five artists off the top of my head. Five yeah. artists. Destroy Lonely. That's the. You said that right. one already. Yep. Right. I'm counting. You're just like another thing. Yeah. I'm trying to. Can I just move up? Let me, let yeah, yeah. Up. you know what? Sure. Pull up your call, yeah. Phone a friend. <laughs> we'll give up. We'll get the power play here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Bro, NASCAR Allo is NASCAR really NASCAR Allo? Yes, bro. Like Allo, like A-L-O-E? Yeah. Okay. You never, okay. You've never listened to NASCAR, bro. <laughs> Oh I've God. definitely listened to NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> MGK is pretty good, too. But, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, Kenny Hoopla is definitely... Uh, okay. Like, three. Definitely three. Kenny, Juice, Kanye. Kanye is number one. Kanye number one? Kanye, I don't, like... Like, Playboy Cardi, I would never put him in my top five. But, like, I I, I listen to him. He's, he's there. Okay, that's fair. That, yeah. yeah. I really created good, too. Nas X okay, is okay. probably number five. Okay. Lil Nas X is okay. kind of, it's, it's just the amount of barriers this man has broken. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah that's fair. As an individual, like, and, and the amount of time that he has, it's just crazy. It's absolutely insane, bro. It's wild. No, I, like, I, I just, totally like, agree with you on that. I, I really like Lil Nas X is out here. Mm-hmm. Good, good artist. I like that guy. Yeah, but just, her. honestly, I wouldn't, good influence, good mm-hmm. influencer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't say just does. artists. He's like, very he has good at what he does. Good entertainer. Exactly. Yeah. It's um, just real. So what's like a daily habit or routine that you have to like make a positive impact on your day? <sighs> Stretch. Sex. Yo, let's go. Stretch and put my Stretch. feet. Yes. Put my feet in the grass. Like I, have oh, to put okay. my, I always put my bare right. feet in the grass every morning. Like I literally walk outside with nothing. I just wake up and I just charge up stairs out the basement. I'm just like... <sighs> I literally don't stop. Get to me. Get to the grass. I literally don't stop until I'm outside, bro. Because I will. I will literally just like chill. Like just couch. boxers. Did just, you put any clothes on? No, just boxers. No, just straight I up. Literally, just, I literally. I literally go. Up. I literally just go outside. And I'm like, I. I. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Like it's. A, it's. We got hella trees. And I'm just like. <laughs> he has barriers, guys. It's okay. Barriers. It's okay. Hold on, that's my break. I mean, like, shit. I know my neighbors have seen my naked ass through the windows. Oh time, God! Like, don't do that to them. <laughs> Come on, bro. They're just trying to live their life. I'm <laughs> here, bro. Put my clothes on. Put my clothes on. No, you put your goddamn clothes <laughs> on. That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. Like, <laughs> uh, Alright, so if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Fucking broccoli. 
You're joking, <laughs> right? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I got a question. All right, I got a question. All right let's have a drink. or uh, just like Steve. Rock. Okay, okay good. I, I, no, I, I I'd rather have raw broccoli if I ever have what? what? I don't no, like the texture of sea broccoli. Are you going to put anything on it? No. Like cheese or I'll anything? straight up eat that shit. No, like no. Red, uh, crushed red pepper. Broccoli. Okay. Just um, broccoli. I'll share it. Because then it's like cold spicy. Cold, cold yeah, trees. Yeah, like spicy cold broccoli. Trees. Just like, oh, no. That sounds really funny. Spicy broccoli. We're like, fuck. <laughs> New Yo, throw some hot sauce on broccoli. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a hot sandwich. Yeah, that shit would be hilarious. Spicy broccoli. Spicy broccoli. <laughs> you, see, you guys see they made a flaming Hot Mountain Dew? No. no. Dead what? ass. Dead ass. No. Yeah, they finally made a flaming Hot Mountain Dew. Can't do that shit. I kind of want to try it. That sounds disgusting. I, it does. I it never tried those. Time. I never tried the ones where it was like the the USA. The it, it was all purple inside oh. because they mix red. Oh, Liberty, you know, those were good. Yeah. I never. I like drank those. Soda yeah, they mixed bro. voltage I, I, and. Literally, I have, a, I have a yeah. diet of Fiji kombucha and juice, <laughs> like literally. I have a diet day. of a lot of water. Huh? I have a diet of a lot of water. Yeah, I like water. Juice is so good though because I there are times where I just don't want to eat. Food just makes me, it's revolting. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, dude, food is weird sometimes, bro. I'm just like, why do we eat? <laughs> what the fuck is, what, what is eating, man? So you just nutrients. recently released your, uh, yeah, nutrients. You released uh, your single, Whoa. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of a super hype, fun song. So how was, how was creating that? Um, it was really fucking hilarious because my AC was broken <laughs> and it was like super I love how that's significant to Bro, literally, so uh, because it the fan, the, the mood, it the fan, the mood. for you the, it does, yeah, oh, hey. because the fan was I'm getting pissed. in the background of every take, right? So I'm just oh, like, oh, ah, so, this so really fucking would be like, it's sweating a puddle. Oh my hey, God, hey, God. Hey, no, it's just so bad. No, because my, 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 my window was open and I'm just like. Yeah, hey, hey. like I was just like, fuck, bro. What am, what am I doing? Oh, but it's okay because I literally lived on, in an apartment complex, right? Mm -hmm. And no one cares. Like no one cares. Yeah. But it was really fun because it was something completely different, and like just saying the same shit over and over again was obviously something <laughs> I've always ridiculed in my life, bro. Like, like just straight up, that's something I. How many places is that right now? Would you? I have no clue. Probably like check your. It you probably, check it. I wanna, probably I was, under a hundred. Because my music How much time about is over 100? Uh, I, I have no clue. No? No? You don't think so? Okay. <laughs> Do you know your highest one off the top? Yeah. Um, it's literally like 60 streamers. Um, On Spotify? People, we gotta run this yeah. up. Yeah, what the hell? I mean, it's, it's okay. Music. No, it's okay. <laughs> what about like, SoundCloud, though? You have big ones on um, SoundCloud, right? Yeah, but they don't get, like, right now, like, I really don't have a lot of people coming. Like, I literally know everyone who listens to my music right now. Well, like, well it's not bad, though. Pretty sure. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, yeah. I, I, At some point you'll be I don't know audience. What, what audience I should start curating to because I haven't released the music that Dude, is literally don't near curate, and dear. just be yourself. I know, I, I, haven't, I haven't released anything near and dear to my heart yet. Like, literally, it's just, that's why I haven't released it because I'm like, oh my god, is it ready, is it ready, is it ready? You know, should I, should I release it? Bro, there's it? no like, time like the present. I know, it's there's right. no time like the present. There's, there's so many, it. bro, I could, drop a, I could drop a pop punk album right now. Like, it's why really wouldn't you then? Because it's not done. As a lady running okay. up the fucking no, that's fair. I mean, yeah, that's that's yeah. Okay. It's so bad. Like, like everything needs to be sectioned, bro. And it's just not. It's all muddled together, and it feels so fucking annoying. Because the vocals aren't sitting right right now. It's just like, but there's like one track in particular. I'm like, oh my god, there's only two people that listen to this. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck? It's just like it reminds me of. It's like an, it's just so anthemic. Like it's just like anthemic. Yes, it's what, just what like, does that mean? It makes you, it makes you want, it makes you want to fucking like, hurrah, you know, like it makes, okay, it yeah, makes you want right. to like seize that's the day. A, that's a new word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes you want to hurrah, Hur hurrah. It's not like like it makes you want to go yeah. forward and do some real shit. You know, like I, I'm so fucking funny because I look like an orangutan right now. Like, <laughs> like in my, in my, in my beige jacket, my beige jacket, bro. Like, and the jeans fire though, like. <laughs> I just copped. I just copped. Yo, shout out Nike SB though. Gas. These are my I've been, I'm, I'm about to cop a pair of Maxes on Friday. I need a new pair. Yes. <laughs> They're brown. They're brown. They're like beige, sandy, like. Oh, of course, more beige. <laughs> bro, it's such a nice color. Like people under 
underestimated, but obviously there can be too much. I'm just kind of overloading it right now. He just so looks like I, Carhartt to me. Since exactly. I'm from the Midwest, I yeah. think you're wearing Carhartt. Everything's Carhartt. Oh, it is. It's like, Carhartt. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like one of my favorite brands. Bro. I like uh, workwear is so underrated. I'm literally wearing like fucking Carpenter jeans right now. Like, workwear is pretty good. It's usually really comfortable. Yeah, it's so <laughs> nice, bro. Like especially when you get oversized. Like these are a size 38. Like, so what's the process you go through when making your music? Well, a lot of times I find a beat, right? And then I'm just like... Where do you find your beats? Okay, YouTube or my friend send them to me. Like, okay. you know? Okay. Um, there's a lot of producers on YouTube that I use specifically, and I'm not going to shout them out, but like... Yeah, fuck don't even wait for a good spot. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, no, you I'm never tell anybody where you where no, you from. Because no, they're no. so nice. It's so... Uh, I could. What's the process look like, though? Because it's like, okay, I'll... Pick the beat. Sometimes I pick the beat, and then I'll... Like, lately it's been me writing stuff out just to get ahead into it. And then I start recording because I can't feel anything until I start recording. And then I just start to, and then I'm then I'm in it and it's like boom, take after take after take. And there are some takes where I'll just go like fucking 16 bars through. And there are some takes where I'll just do, you know, four, 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 eight, four. You know, and it's like, I, I it's pretty normal to me to punch. But like lately I've been really trying to like just shoot shit all the way through because I'm like, bro, how am I going to perform something that I'm just punching all the time? I will say you, you can just break it up and make it and then you just recite it when you're like in True. that process. See, that's exactly what I used to do but it was like, that was so time consuming, bro, practicing all the time. It's so yeah. many different songs. I guess that's, how you, songs that's how you remember it though. True. That's how you, you make songs really... that you like. Yeah, yeah. You're, gonna, you're just going to naturally just be singing along. You'll be that's, wise. That's, that's before true. songs are released for us, I know, at least 100 plays, minimum. So at some point you're going to start remembering yeah. them first. Yeah. That's facts, though. That's for real. And there's some that are still in the vault that are getting a thousand, at least a thousand places. Yeah, we might have a few that are putting them <laughs> on there. So what does a uh, day in the life of Azzy like, kind of look like? Um, Obviously, you go get the grass. Um, yeah, yeah, you yeah, run up to the grass. That's the first thing. Yep. So, step one. Lately, <laughs> lately, I've been trying to play with my rabbit every day. I'm, okay, real, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm playing with the rabbit. I apologize. I'm going to make a meme where it's like feet in the grass and it's like Azzy lay this starter pack. As you lay, nice day in the life of as you lay, oh. <laughs> see the grass and a bunny, and, and a bunny. Oh yeah, yeah. I I'm fucking crying, guys. Right. Bro, she's so cute. Like, I what's her name? Uh, Timber. Timber. Oh my god, she looks. That's like a good pitbull song. Looks, she looks like a. Oh, <laughs> right. Like, 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 <laughs> she looks like a timber wolf, and it's like she's the cutest thing in the world. Sorry, I feel like I'm overheating. Out. No, go, no, no, dude, dude this one gets really hot. hot. Yeah, 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 you're you're chilling, bro. You're chilling. Um. No, she's so fucking cute, bro, and it's just like. She's the softest thing in existence. I've never felt bunny anything bunny softer, softer yeah. than this thing. Because every time, like, I, I go, you know, there's blankets all around my house, right? And sometimes I'll just be sitting with shit and just, like, feeling it. Because, like, maybe fabric has been has been my bitch, you know? That's why I like cards because it's, like, a jean material, but it's not, you know? It's, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's so durable and it's just, like, you know, resistant and shit. Anyway, um, you know, so she'll feel like a blanket. And then I go, I have stuff. He's next to my bed, right? So I'll sleep with those sometimes and then I'll fucking pick her up in the morning I'm like ah. I'm like you're the softest thing you ever take her out to the grass? yes oh and good then oh I good yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> then I chase her all around the yard oh <laughs> that's <laughs> that's gotta be the cutest look yeah. I mean like I don't I don't like to chase her but like sometimes she'd be running and I'm like hey what the fuck are you doing? hey hey <laughs> get the fuck you know and then I have to, sometimes I have to grab the the rake and shit and like black her off one way <laughs> <laughs> I got the rake and shit and fucking smack shit over them. No, no, no. <laughs> That's where I thought you were going with that, to be honest. I don't, I, I would never. No, no. She gets so not. scared so fast. I'm like, she'll go from. Like, you yeah, know, like yeah. everything, the eyes look like they're about to fucking explode. It's like crazy. Is there anything that you're uh, working on right now that's going to be coming out in the near future? Okay, so I'm sitting on either misunderstood or. Either misunderstood or no more. Because, I assume those are track titles. Yeah. Okay. Um, because misunderstood just needs amazing treatment, and then the same thing with no more. But like, misunderstood is like more of like. You should talk to him about that. What's up? He's yeah, our audio like, engineer. Uh, mix engineer. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's what's up, bro. Yeah. Cheap prices. I do it for pretty cheap right that's now. That's what's up, Twenty five a song. Gas. Yeah. That's fucking gas. Okay, I'm I'm definitely gonna have to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> definitely gonna have to take care of that bill. Okay, but anyway, misunderstood is more of like this, it's like this poppy vibe, like, 
really upbeat. And then like No More is just like kind of this down tempo, like it's heavier, sad, like it's just like me spitting my shit, bro. Like like how real life has yeah. been lately, you know, like it's just like the 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 epitomies and shit that I'm coming to, bro. Like the epiphanies. The epiphanies. Jesus <laughs> <Yeah>. Christ, bro. <laughs> Things are so different, bro. It's just, it's just. Hey, life changes quick, man. I know, bro. Life it's quick. just like wow. And now we're gonna get into everybody's favorite segment, the social media deep dive. <laughs> hey, thank you for the yes. layer. I appreciate it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we had horns. Air the horn. <laughs> <laughs> so first thing I looked at was Instagram, and as of right now, you have seven, only seven posts, yeah. and two thousand three hundred and seventy-six followers, and you only follow nine, ninety-five other people back. Would you say you take Instagram seriously? Yes. Like, I only post when I really feel like there's something worth sharing. Okay. So, that I guess that answers my next question, too. Why why not post more? Because right now my phone is a fucking... Yeah, that's all the shit, isn't it? Literally ancient dinosaur. What type what type? What, what I, I don't know. It's an SE. It's a 5. Oh, I mean, it's better than... Oh, it's... A, I got a 6. No way. <laughs> <That's extreme. laughs> no way. We're recording... Uh, it's funny. It's a five SE. It's just bad. Like I'm, I'm really trying to find time to upgrade, but like life is buggy busy, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. It's like you get but a it's car. It's a job, though, right? You gotta work right. with what you got. It's like you get a car and then everything speeds up. You know, I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, like nothing There's was a happening. There's a break, you know. You know, yeah. You just, it's that's the true. one on the left. Hit that one. That's true. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, it's bro. one on the left. It's so loud. The gas is on the right. What are you talking about? Macy, do you not want to drive? No. I think. um I think I'm ready for the next question. Okay, yeah. you're ready for the next question. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Well, I was like, I'm, I'm um, So out. in your bio, it says, your favorite rock star. Yes. But I hate to break it to you, MGK is still very much alive. True. Um, <laughs> but would you consider yourself more of a rock star, rapper, or pop star? Um, That's the real question. Right now, I'm drifting in between all three. So no, 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 no. I want, I want you to pick one. Oh, rock Which star. Which one would you? Okay. A definite right. rock star, bro. Like this. Right. There's something about the the, the the punk and and the grunge delivery, bro. Like I'm so good with it. The emotional, like the the theatrical drama, bro. It's just like <laughs> what I'm saying. It's like meant to literally like <gasps> grab you, like, <laughs> yeah. you by the fucking, you know. Shit. Yeah, it's so like you, you need to understand what I'm going through. You know, it's like it's 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 like almost this. I feel like it's like like. I used to think of it like as really embarrassing, like I didn't like it because it felt like to me calls of like desperation, because I I don't like I don't like to talk to people. I don't like therapists. I don't like okay, it's yeah. hard to talk to people about like things that you go through. Well, of course, you know. And I'm just like because it takes up so much of my time. It puts me in a spot where I'm just not moving. I'm only talking about what's happening. Yeah, like I could be making the happening. So like you know, eradicating the chance of new moments. So, like, I make the new moments with the songs, right? But oftentimes they're talking about emotions that I just can't really put off to anybody because I will never, you know, weigh anyone down with what I'm going through. You know, I feel like that's something that I'm avidly never trying to do. I'm always trying to lift something off of someone, you know? Like, if any, if anything at all possible, I'm always trying to make someone's day. You know, like, it's... Of course. That's, like, a real... Spreading that positive like daily yeah. goal. I think, uh, moving on now from Instagram to YouTube. No, what? Um, what? Do you want to do that one? What do you mean? What? Okay. Yes. I was just going to move on from, from that one. But uh, your first post uh, is from August 4th, 2020. And it's for promo for your uh, EP Stitch. What was your expectations for the post and kind of going into the EP at the time? Like, what what did you feel? Did you think it was going to pop off right away? The Just the album cover post. Yeah. Much. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was just kind of setting my stamp. Like, I was just like, hey, something's coming. Here you go. So I really was, because everything was changing then. I was kind of homeless and still settling into wherever the fuck I was trying to find, you know? So it was different. Um, I didn't really expect a lot, but I had friends who cared for me at the time. So, so I was certain that I was going to get something. Like yeah. So from moving there, you kind of promoted your art well and you received pos- a lot of positive feedback. Um, what kind of got you this point of love, spirituality, and just positivity? Like it sh- kind of shows through your posts. LSD, the magic bean. Um, just kidding, but like I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you everything that came stitched there prior was like drugs, bro. Like drugs, like it was crazy. 
like I remember promises was understandable. It was kinda like just like whoa bro. Like the week that I made that so many other fucking things happened, bro. And lost soul too, like those those types of bro. All those moments. There was just like a lot of substance and it's just like it was me trying to wrap my head around life while also trying to get rid of these that it had on me you know like okay kind of grasp the death yeah of it was just it was just it was different it was different bro like bad habits suck so now on youtube go on moving on youtube you do post your music and promote it there but you also have a couple of videos that, for example, talk about yeah. how someone can love themselves or how someone can find themselves. What inspired you to start making those motivational, like, those, tutorial videos? Those ones, I was I was in an overflow moment of my life, and there was literally no one around. Like, it was cold outside. Like, I was inside making clothes and music every day. And it was like, bro, who the fuck do I talk to that's on my level? So I was like, you know what, myself, I'm just going to record me. Talk to the real motherfucker you know. Exactly. <laughs> it's like... And it was, it was so fun because I would never really consider about how someone was capable of grasping it. You know, I would only give them the tools to make it possible. You know, mm -hmm. like... They got to find it themselves. Exactly. Right. So, like, at one point in my life, it literally, I was sitting around giving my tools away. You know, so it was really fun. Um, that was, like, literally after I cut off all my friends and shit. And it was like, I don't care but I want y'all to know why I'm doing this, you know, like, yeah. you know, I felt like it was kind of like my explanation to myself while also being able to, you know, help lift other people and enlighten them into this state of, let me fucking take control of my life and just do what I need to do and cut whatever's anchoring me. I mean, I think that's good. You kind of like, even if you're just talking to yourself in the camera, it's like, you're at least talking to yourself, right? Like bringing that, yeah, that kind of you're manifesting that positivity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to like, because it's almost like you're shedding skin, like you're you you like taking the metaphysical wrap off you, and you're just growing right before your eyes, bro. You know, it's so nice. So, do you wish you used YouTube more? And if you yeah, did have the chance to make any kind of content you wanted on YouTube besides music, what would you create? I have the urge to make ASMR one time, but like, I, I feel like it would be more for That's the comical That's not the answer view, I was bro. expecting. It was really hilarious. It's really hilarious because like, I think it's enticing as fuck. And it's a good way to suck someone into just So do you listen to ASMR stuff. on Twitch then, I guess? Let um, me ask. That's like the best place for it. So no, it? not on Twitch. Like I'll just, I'll just go through YouTube sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. I just listen to a lot of like those weird object sounds and stuff, bro. It's so weird. Okay. Like the slime balls or something. No, I mean like, yeah, kind of, but okay. like so, so, sometimes like I was just like, like random shit, you know, people like see what they can find that sounds like different. Cause sometimes like, like the sound of clothes, like jeans is so fucking, I don't okay. know what it is. But really anyway, really anyway, really <clears throat> the weird shit aside, like that's literally just like some back of the mind fucking thing. I'm not fucking trying to make YouTube content like that. I want to make vlogs. I want to make um like how to videos or just kind of like at home, like this is what I do, you know, like shit. Just to kind like of create music or what? Yeah, okay. like, like I guess sort of like vlogs, like entertainment videos, just like no, not any specific direction because I don't think I'm trying to like give anything to anyone right now. I'm just trying to like get back into my groove of making of shit. You know, you know, like I really want my own opportunity to have fun with what I'm doing while also growing for you know. Yeah, so yeah like, kind of going uh, into like the next one, TikTok here. That one's kind of for quick videos and making your own yeah. um, your own videos for your other people to watch. It doesn't look like there is much on your TikTok. Do you just use it more for watching the content there? Yeah, what, do you, have a what are your thoughts about TikTok? <laughs> yeah, I don't ever use TikTok. I literally posted <laughs> posted only to to try to catch traction, and it worked for a little bit. And I really wasn't because I. Cause my hair was literally so luscious, bro. How could you ignore that shit? <laughs> like, it was so beautiful. But like, no, I never used to. The God algorithm loved think... his hair, probably. Yes, it definitely did. But like, the lighting was shit. <laughs> the lighting was always <laughs> shit, and I never got a good fucking photo or a good video with that TikTok shit because I was using this fucking <laughs> what is it called, bro? Oh, yeah. No idea. It's... Oh, excuse me, it's one of them hospital lights, right? <clears throat> 
like a dentist yeah, light, like, it, like, it, like, it, like they sit in the chair and they bring the thing over, you're wearing those sunglasses they give you, and they bring that thing over, that's, that's what you're using for your YouTube no, videos, it was blinding like, you. They, they, literally set it up, they literally set it up in the room on like trays, on like those movable trays and shit. I never seen a dent doctor bring oh my one. Oh no, it's like during surgeries and shit, bro. Like I think so. Yeah, I've never, I never. I don't seen know. It. It's really. It was from the the hospital. Like that. But like, okay. <laughs> well, was it wasn't good for make TikToks. No, it was no. It was good for like getting a light in my face. But like, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> TikTok, so, now, so now moving on to Twitter. Now this is the exact opposite of TikTok, of course. There's almost too much to unpack, but scroll, scrolling through your Twitter, I see a ton of quotes and positive statements. Yes. So some tweets are just one word. For example, you tweeted the word attracting, September 5th. Yes. What do you use Twitter for, and what are your thoughts on Twitter as a whole? I use Twitter for... Be creative and invigorating content. Definitely... You like that instant gratification, huh? Of Twitter, because you can just like find the content. Like it's almost it's like a literally chatter, so right? fucking easy. Like you yeah, just, exactly. It's just there. It's like oh wow, that's literally everything I was thinking about within like five. Do seconds. you think Twitter's toxic? Yeah, incredibly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have but it's it. like I love Twitter. Twitter's no, like, I don't have it downloaded. Just... I literally don't have it downloaded, but I love the app. Oh okay, okay. That's okay. so nice. That's, that's just... funny. Okay. <laughs> All right, like, glad we're on the same page with Twitter then. All right, perfect. But moving on to the future now. You can go, you can go yeah. ahead. Um, where do you kind of see yourself in your music within the next five years here? School is about to be such a monumental change in my life, and I'm not sure. So what exactly are you going to school for, I guess? I don't think we music. asked that. Music. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. sweet. Okay. Awesome. So, okay. like, I mean, that's I, I'm not sure if yeah. I'm going to start doing more, like, classical work or, you know, more kind of, like, root foundation type work with music. Because right now, the ego is missing. Like, I literally have no projection with my music right now. Like, I I don't I don't feel like the person that I really was creating back then. Because I feel like he was fueled off of a lot of ignorant shit. Like, I just don't really, like, vibe with what I was doing. Because, like, I was preaching, but, like, I wasn't doing any of it. So I'm finding a way to consistently do me in a positive way. But, like, I don't want to have to preach what I'm doing, you know, like. Yeah. So, right now, I'm trying to do, like, a lot of, like, instrumental works. So, I can get into making my own beats. Or, like, even just, like, songs instrumentally and, like, me singing behind them. You know, yeah. Like, I want to be able to just, Definitely. Like, play the piano and you, sing. You could do that. Exactly. So you already know how to play. I, I can do that. But you already know how to play the piano. Yeah. You could definitely do it better. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, like. Yes, I do it every morning, but that's, it's just oh, like me okay. fucking around. It's that's pretty cool. Just me that's fucking a, I mean, fucking around is still practice, like, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's and, a good goal to have, though. Yeah, make your own instrumentals. Yeah, because yeah, like, it feels like I'm just like in genuine, like hopping on other people's shit all the time. Like, but then it's like when I'm making my own shit all the time, hopping on other people's shit feels weird, bro. But then that's so what wait, everybody's did doing. Did he answer the bro. question? Was that well? Did he said see? he said he's not really sure because he's okay. college. Um, um, but, okay, if you're, if, but if I guess the college wasn't a factor. What oh, no, like stuff? college, I think is going to blow everything into proportion. Like, oh, okay. For real. I honestly think that I'm going to meet a lot of good people and find a good network in college. And I'm going to evolve in a way that I never so saw what you know, possible. Because you know. right now I'm like in this dumbed down phase, you know, and I'm waiting to be smart, bro. Like I'm waiting to start <laughs> using my fucking head again, bro. Because right. I don't know where to put myself on days where I'm fully like just invested in my emotions because I'm an, an incredibly emotional human being and it's not something I have control over and it's weird um like I mean I it is something I have control over because you always have control over your emotions but it's like lately I've been just so responsive rather than like sit and figure it out you know because I feel like when I try to figure shit out like a lot of the time I feel like the time will literally just start eating away my, my thoughts because I'm like I think about that all the time I'm like bro time literally is constantly time doesn't exist dog but it's like <laughs> but it's it does it, though, it, I mean, it, it does not it's a man made thing the Mayans made it back in the day time true. does not exist it's true and that's something I've been the only thing that exists is a, is two other planets that orbit us and make it light and and dark outside <laughs> what the fuck are you what two the planets? moon and the moon and the sun those oh, are okay. other planets are they not 
<laughs> no, the sun's not a planet. The sun's a star, but the moon's also not a planet. planet. <laughs> it's the moon. <laughs> it's the moon. Well, fuck out of here. Don't care. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's all right. I got you. I mean. I got you. We, so, will you ever sign to a label? And if you could, if you could choose which label, which one would it be? I feel like grade A would be really nice. Grade A? Yeah. Okay. Um, I want my music to be so different, bro. Like, like motherfuckers can't make the shit like the shit I'm like be making, bro. Like, so you're not gonna sign to a level, or you're still gonna hurt? No, you? like I feel like I would, but if it would allow me to do exactly what I need to do. I no, I feel you give you that creative control. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Would you uh would you want to kind of blow up as a Wisconsin artist, or do you think you have to move somewhere else to get that opportunity? I feel like. Coming out of the state would be the most raw thing that could possibly happen. You know, like Fuck, yeah, let's go. Like, cause it's like CW hip hop. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. March. It doesn't matter where you are, bro. Like, cause you're always gonna have roots. You're like, yeah, I grew up in Wisconsin. So it's like, fuck. Why not just come right out of here, bro? You know, if you can do it here, you definitely know you, you can have do it anywhere to, else. Because yeah. like facts. That's because it. Because, facts. because everyone's. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Like for real. Like people have really absorbed here. Like, and it's it's good. It's good, but it's like. You can get so easily clung on to it too as some but like if you're a person who's trying to be more constructive you know and just like feeling uh, for me it was like feeling like kicked out all the time because i wanted to do shit and make stuff happen and no one ever wanted to make shit happen so you want to make shit happen what's like a short-term goal that you have for next year that feels that you feel like it it's needs dropping, to happen or will happen. Dropping three c clothing collections. Five. Three clothing collections. Okay. Two, actually two okay. clothing. You want to help us with CW yeah. pop clothes? You want to <laughs> maybe. Let's maybe. go ahead and collab, bro. Okay, we can we I can, can I can be a photographer for it too. That would be cool. We can have a little collaboration at some point, but like I got a lot of I got like eight jeans for the first collection and two car jackets that are personally hand painted, you know, stitched. Mm -hmm. Um by me, um, I do a lot of the repairs because I get the needs. But like, I guess kind of to help me understand what what's you said three collections. What's one? Is it like a whoa. whole piece of like is it like a whole merch drop? Like oh yeah, merch drops or like three pieces of merch. Basically, like they're all one of one pieces that I have handmade. You know, hand tailored. Yeah, added little bits and bits and chips to like fucking um, and then. I'll get shocked in Madison. It's a, it's a kind of like a little boutique on State Street. They they're gonna help me like creatively emerge that you know. Okay. Spread that because the first collection I have planned is is coming with like more than just the clothes. It's coming with like a, a mural, and it's taking up a lot of time because I have like three three pieces made but i want to do four pieces that are not destroyed and four pieces that are like literally fucked up you know like okay, not okay. Up, all right but like i have these really like those are the nft ones just the <laughs> yeah ones. literally the not <laughs> hey, like, no, it's literally, he says yeah but like it's like no it's just way, shit that's bro. not for sale like that's shit that's not for no, sale that's that's that i have for you. myself you know it's like I, i'm honestly it's gonna, literally an art piece at that point yes yeah, literally yeah, that's I what it. i mean like it's like they're 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 worth they're they're their they're worth is going to like completely and totally be different within the next few years because the Definitely. soul the soul stitch is like a brand of mine right and i'm really trying to the what uh, the, what is it called it's called the soul stitch soul soul stage the soul stitch stitch okay yeah okay. like Not bad. the soul i feel stitch. you yeah yep like kind of like the solstice but like yeah oh stitch, okay right? i see the plan works I got um you. yeah but it's it's just like it's a project of mine because like i believe clothes have life and you know i believe like outfits literally breathe the same way that you breathe in them, you know, and it's just like, if you, you know, I like, I, I want people to be conscious to like how clothing is literally an art form of expression. And it's literally something you can just put together, like, like a puzzle almost, you know, like, but not even like a puzzle It's you can get fun with it. You can get creative, you can literally do whatever you want. And it's all about like matching your sense of expression. So I, I imagine when you perform at your dream venue, you're gonna yes. be wearing something you've made. Yes. What would that dream venue be? Performing? I, and what would the outfit be? I don't know what the outfit. Yeah, that, that's something right, right, you gotta right, wait until. Right, 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 because like that's there's a lot of growth that I'm seeing. Of course. Like you know, but I, that I'm not even seeing. You yeah. Because there's a lot of shit that's so unexpected that could be happening. But like my dream venue, bro. Where the fuck would I want to perform? That's the question. <laughs> Sell out somewhere local or. Madison Square Garden or something along those lines. That would be fucking dope. 
First yeah. Avenue and Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the only one you name I know. <laughs> I think the Square Garden sounds pretty nice. The place is huge. If you could get any one artist to feature on your uh, music, who would you choose? Any, if you can get any artist, mainstream, local, anything, who would you choose? <laughs> Definitely Kanye West, bro. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that'd be that'd be a dream. That would be a dream. dream. I could not think of anybody else because no one has made that hard of an impact lately. You know, that's. Like, I mean, that's true. That, like, is yeah, true. that man has been getting me through some shit, bro, and it's like crazy because I know everyone has that phase in their life, bro. Like I literally have talked to so many people who are like, "Bro, you were that Kanye phase, bro." I'm like, bro shut the fuck up. They're like, "Bro, and you wasn't even when he was popping, popping." Pop. I used to listen to Kanye back when he had Click. What do you mean? This, the song Click. Or who was that? Who was that? With? It was with a bunch of other Like Jay Z's on there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jay Z's on there. A bunch of like, you know, fucking yeah. with the Click. Mm -hmm. Click. Yeah. Click. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Er earlier, Kanye. So, how do you want people earlier, to remember Kanye. the name as like, you lay? How do I want people to remember? That? Like, literally everything. The entire presentation, the energy. But what's it going to look like? What's it going to look like? Y'all got to see me perform, bro. Like, literally, that's what the only thing that's missing from this fucking puzzle piece of my life, bro. It's uh, y'all gotta see me fucking perform. That's it, bro. Like we have the we have the equipment to do it. Exactly. Like it's just mm -hmm. crazy. Like I I I I live to hype. You know, I live to get people moving. I live to get people excited to feel good, bro. Like you know, it's like it's what my life. That's what gives me meaning, bro. It's like let's fucking have a good time. You know, like being as outwardly placed as possible, but also you know having my moments where I can just sit and recharge. You know, I'm super meditative as a man. Like, I'm a very, like, type person, you know? Like, all yeah. the time, like, when I, I'll need to take moments to just stop and breathe, bro. Like, every single day. It's, it's weird. Everybody should. I feel like people look at me sometimes when I do that. And I think Fuck it's them. funny. <laughs> exactly, but it's just like, uh, when you work downtown every day, bro. Oh, my God, I'm so sick of the eyeballs, bro. <laughs> it feels like they burn. Yeah, but when you're up on stage, how many eyeballs are you gonna have? Like, it, it's different though. I'm just. But is it I'm, I'm, I'm just living. Can, I'm just living, buy tickets. I know, but I'm just like I'm just living a mundane life, and they're just seeing me. Uh, I guess that's true. They're just seeing me shit. Yeah, so what's at the top of your bucket list? What's the top of my bucket list, yeah, bro? What's your bucket Fucking list look like? Go on tour. Go on tour. All right. Let's Dude, go, on. go on tour. Cool. Well, we're coming. We're coming to the wrap up, the end of the show here. Yes, um, sir. So, what are your, we got a couple extra questions and a little bit, little part where you can just talk. Uh, oh my god! What are your thoughts on CW hip hop as a whole? Y'all are really, really great. Like it's, it's good opportunities. Um, Y'all also bring a lot of light and attention to people who probably wouldn't have as much otherwise. You know, like, um, it's, it's like a really graceful thing to do, honestly. Like, um. You guys take time out of your own lives to, you know, make this shit happen for other people. You know, create a space for, like, content creators to actually, like, thrive and meet each other and network and, you know, build relationships through just working, doing what they love, you know, like, just being themselves. Hell that's yeah. That's awesome, you know, like, that's amazing. That's the goal, dude. Mm -hmm. So how would you rate this interview, one out of ten, and would you recommend other artists to come in and join yes. our community? Yes, I'd say this is a solid 9.5. 9.5? 9. Okay. 9. All right, all right, I'll take that. I guess I'll take that. The only Young 10. Wave gave us an 11. The, the, only, <laughs> the, the 10 would be if I had a, a bottle of water waiting for me when I got here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There it is. There's the point <laughs> five, boys. Let's go. Tens. Yeah, go for it. Oh, for real, thank you so yeah. much. Like, Mm. Boom, now it's a 10, right? Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> do, we, do we miss anything Straight in the interview here you want to you yeah, touch yeah, on here? Miss anything? I don't think so. Like, I... Nothing that isn't too important. You know, I, okay, that's fair. Yeah. So, this is the part where you now have the floor. You can ask us any questions, either as a whole or, or individually. Uh, you can talk about any upcoming projects, shout anybody out or anything out, uh, or just talk about whatever you may want to. It's as you lay. It's it's the as you lay show. Right as you lay show. <laughs> That's what's up. So basically, first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to my mom. To my oh, dad. there we go. Just kidding. Well, like yeah. Actually. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Kidding. No, Sheesh. No, I love you guys. I love you guys. I'll cut that one out okay. of the YouTube video. <laughs> my my little brother. I hope your football game went well today. I hope you won. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. Um, 
But right now, I'm really just trying to bring light to people that need it, right? So if you feel like you don't have a place, go buy my clothes. Go buy my clothes. <laughs> hey, so CW Hip Hop merch. Okay, you go know so by Azzy Lay and CW Hip Hop. At, at Azzy Lay, anywhere, literally go A Z Z Y L E I, space in between, you know, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. And you will find my brand. He's tagged in every single stage. post we have. Literally, I am working to make a new universe of literal hand connections. Because I try my hardest in every single thing that I do. And I hope you love it just as much as I do. So, go follow what I'm doing. Go love what I'm doing. Because maybe you could find something out of it that you'll love for yourself too. Mm-hmm. That's well, my favorite time. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for oh, coming in. Sasha? I mean, yeah, of course. We're so excited. Cool. Yeah, that, that, I, we were yeah. very excited for this interview. I think it went really well. Real. That's what's up. Like I'm. I'm glad y'all have me here. Like I'm. I'm glad you're able to make it out even though yeah, it's late. Bro. bro, like I'm sorry. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. dedication. Yeah. We love this. At least you get yeah. yeah. better that's late than up. never. And for real, I, that's that's true. That's true. I wish you luck on all your endeavors with Thank the fashion. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys yeah, too. So real. Fuck yeah, man. Thank you so much. We're going to be watching, though. We're going to be... Yeah. Like, but keep us up to date as well. Yes. we got a lot of shit going on. Yo, this is that Instagram. I want to see more fashion items. I, uh, yeah. I think you probably um, post that. more. Oh, for real, yeah. yeah like, I literally have so many pairs right now, but they're just not for sale because, like, I needed to make a bunch of samples so I could just start racking my mind on how I was going to... Because now, I have pieces that are just going to be, like, whole... I don't even know if I hey, want to. You had your floor time. I'm just, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking with sir. you. No, it's okay. But like I like I literally <laughs> talk way too much, bro. No, you're fine, dude. I'm just fucking with you. You're good. <laughs> Dead ass Denzel. Where can the you said the Azzy Lay on all, all yeah, platforms? Where can they where Lay on all platforms? At A Z Z Y Space L E I anywhere. Azzy Lay. Azzy Lay. You can't put a space in your name on Instagram. If you want to be formal, you can call me Azrael. Like, don't, you're not my mom. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so don't, just don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so just don't call him Azrael. <laughs> just Azzy. Uh, you so, also, BBNC, we're, we're, yeah, we're, you can we're, also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at awesome. CW Hip Hop. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at BBNC95. Twitter, I am BBNC. Prism, where can the listener find you at? You can find me on Instagram as Prism Rap, P R I Z M R A P. And Prism on Facebook. Garky, we're gonna listen to find you. You guys can find me on Instagram at Garky Gaines, G A R K E G A I N Z, and pretty much every other platform are just Garky. Thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast. We had a great time interviewing Azzy Lay. Make sure you guys get the merch. I'm yes. telling you right now, you cannot get this merch ever again after September. So it's not that, as great as Azzy Lay's, but it is it still great. It might not be handsome, yeah. It might not be handsome like Azzy Lay's, but you can still find yourself with it. Yes. So get get the CW Up merch, get the Azzy Lay merch. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Follow the Thank source. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Night. Peace. Peace. All right. At least I'll stop this one first, I guess. Peace. Oh, yeah.